Tim from Rigid. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Navitrack brick transmitter. The brick transmitter allows you to induce a signal on a metal line such as a gas line or a water line, enabling you to trace that signal using one of our locators. Some of the features of the brick transmitter, first off it's battery powered. It takes six C-cell batteries which mount in the side of the compartment. You also have two metallic clamps that are universal. One clamp you hook onto the utility, the other you mount on the ground rod which we include in the unit. They are universal. They are both magnetic as well as clamping. There is also a small little file on the end for you to scrape off any rust or paint enabling you to get a better connection thus send a better signal through the line. To turn a unit on, the power button is on the right hand side. When you first turn it on, the lights are going to blink in succession and then very quickly they'll stop. That tells you battery strength. Three lights lit means you have good strength. Two, the batteries are getting weak. If it's one light, you're going to need to change the batteries out. So you push it once, it's going to beep three times and go solid. That tells you you have good battery strength. Now for power. When the bottom light is lit, you're putting out half a watt of strength. If you need more wattage on the line for distance or if it's corroded, push the button once. The center light is lit, you're now putting out 2 watts. Push it again. The top light's lit, you're putting out 5 watts. But believe me, between 95-96% of the time, half a watt is all you need. Remember, the more wattage you put on the pipe, the more it's going to drain the batteries. The second button allows you to choose your frequency. The first line is 1 kilohertz. If I push the button again, I'm putting out 8 kilohertz. Push the button again, the top light's lit, I'm putting out 33 kilohertz. Basically, the smaller the kilohertz, the further travels on the line with least chance of bleeding off under another utility. Another way to transmit with the brick transmitter is inducing through the ground. There may be a situation where you can't clamp onto that utility or you may not be able to enter the dwelling. So you have to guess on the outside of the home where the utility exits. If you're in a rough area, what you would do is press the center button to set it in 33 kilohertz. You would then press the far left button. You do not use the ground clamps when you are inducing through the ground. At this point, you would simply lay the transmitter on the ground right above where you believe the utility to be with the arrows facing in the direction that you feel that utility is running. That's also sort of the last way you want to transmit a signal. It's the equivalent of walking into a dark basement with a floodlight. It's going to light up everything. So if there's more than one utility coming out of the ground, it's going to light them all up. It may confuse the locator. But just remember, pick your frequency. Make sure that your utility matches that frequency or your utility locator matches that frequency. And then trace the line with ease. Thank you.